six site, you know, you guys made in the USA. Now, what what were some challenges that you faced oh. getting your product, you know, and, and carrying that brand? You know, what I mean, made in the USA. You bet. So, you know, if you look at made in the USA, right? We I, I don't say made in the USA. Uh, I say we say built in the USA. There are a number of products where I could say made in the USA because we're sourcing everything here. We're obviously building everything here. Sure. At this point in time, the majority of our stuff, you know, when you look at these high performance fabrics and technology, yada, 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 it, unfortunately, you can't get most of it here in the U.S. anymore. And so a lot of it uh, of the raw textile still come out of Asia. Um, and they we've got four different manufacturing partners right now, depending upon the product, but they're all here uh, in the United States and they, you know, outside of a, you know, a roll of textile coming into their dock, um, everything happens here uh, in the United States. So the challenges associated with that, and, you know, it's interesting, something you said to me before we started the po podcast about, you know, the mindset, um, and it, it it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I can clearly give you a lot of examples where it's been to my detriment, but I'm one of those guys where if you tell me I can't do something, I'm going to die trying Fine. to prove you wrong. And yeah. I had so many people and, and one person in particular who um, I found early on through divine in intervention, who is a manufacturing consultant who knew not every factory in the world, but every reputable factory in the world because of his client list. And uh, on that client list is Patagonia and uh, Nike, and you name the outdoor brand, either hard or soft goods, he's he's touched it, he's worked in-house or handled some aspect of their manufacturing. I, I happen to find him through just blind luck through the, through the internet. Mm -hmm. And because, because of him, um, he was able to get me in some very good factories, but the first factory we were in, and this was going back to 2014, um, early 14, <laughs> I, a competitor in the industry that we've already talked about, their parent company bought the factory, booted me out. Um, we then went to a Filson factory and Filson had a bunch of additional capacity that they couldn't handle in, in one of their Seattle or whatever, they shifted capacity to this new factory that they had and booted me out. And then we were in another factory up in uh, Maine that was doing a bunch of government contracting, actually doing, doing a lot of work uh, for a company that was providing, um, providing a number of products to guys that we used to work with. And that government contract shut down and the factory shut down overnight. So all that's to say is uh, I went through a lot of stops and starts and the silver lining and all that as I, I burned up a year and a half. I spent a lot of money that probably didn't need to be spent. Mm -hmm. But where we ended up was the factory that this consultant right out of the gate when when he agreed to work with me, he said, I know where you need to be, but this guy's never going to. This guy doesn't have the capacity to talk to you, and and furthermore, because of his client list, he's not interested in dealing with a startup. So we went through about a year and a half of stops and starts, and at that point in time, the manufacturing consultant and I had gotten to know each other well enough where he knew I, this wasn't you know a hobby for me. I was I, I was you know I was going to go down trying, if you will, on mm -hmm. the domestic manufacturing. So. He got me a meeting with the owner of the factory in, in um, they're up out of Washington State. And again, their their client list would blow you away. And after about a two hour meeting, he said, you know what, I'll, I'll take a chance on you. And it's been a phenomenal relationship. And so that is was kind of the cornerstone that got us going. And since then, on other key products, we've added another three manufacturers and, and are looking at another couple this year as we continue to scale the business. 